Hi there Libra, I'm Jennifer Angel, I'm back. I got bronchitis so I couldn't get the videos out last week but I wanted to just talk about the eclipse on January the 31st and then we'll go into next week, the week of February the 5th, okay? So it's a lunar um, eclipse which is a full moon which means that the moon and the sun are opposite each other okay the moon is in leo so it's a lunar eclipse in leo this is the area of your chart which is all to do with friendships social engagements and also reaching out to other people um and it, it's also it's a total eclipse so uh you know it's pretty intense because a full moon you know by itself is intense where this is like a supercharged full moon as well as a super moon so it has a greater gravitational uh, pull and it's a blue moon so it's the second one in the month so right so you know it is uh, pretty intense so you know don't be surprised if you actually move away from some people it can be friends colleagues um you know to do work mainly to do around social areas and friendships and sometimes you know you don't have to have like a huge big bust up to move away from someone you know sometimes it's just a matter of you're walking different paths you know you're you're just traveling in different directions so it can be as simple as that um but do you know be do be aware that perhaps altercations or it can be that you just come to a realization of what's good for you and who's good for you and guess what it's time for you to make some hard decisions and they are hard decisions for Libra because you like to try to make everything right um, now um, and with this with the Sun and Venus your ruling planet and Mercury right now at the same time moving into your solar fifth house this is an area of creativity and connections so you can it's sort of pretty well be in the right place at the right time to connect with people and of course it's in the sign of um, Aquarius so that means that the connections don't have to be face to face they can be like around the world or you know electronically it's so easy to connect with people now you know uh, on like a, you know from far away places um, and you know work with different cultures and so on there's a lot of um, there's still some uh, activity going on in your around your home and family area as well um, and next week towards the end of the week around the 10th the Sun will square uh, Jupiter which indicates that it could be a monetary situation that you're faced with around your home or to do with family members okay so you want to just make sure that um, it is what you think it is because the week before there's also uh, a, a square with um, communication planet Mercury and now we've got an opportunity uh, a square with the Sun so it's like this discussions you want to get the details down just because it's dealing with people that you perhaps know or family then a business is business so treat it all in a business businessy manner I'm sure that's not a word and then at the start of the uh, uh, well also right at the end of the week I'm jumping around the dates a little bit here I realize um, Venus your ruling planet will move into Pisces now this is lovely for you to focus on yourself okay and this is a nice bright light sort of energy and a time it's in your solar six house so it's good for connecting with people with work but it's also very good for 
pampering and just doing something nice for for you um, and whether that's to do with love or money perhaps to go and book a spa treatment or a mani pedi or something like that um, or for men a, a massage but in the start of the week Venus your ruling planet is in a very nice sextile which is an opportunity with Uranus which is in your relationship area so there's certainly a lot going around in your personal life around this time things can come to a, a heading some way you can make some decisions that you've perhaps been struggling with and close the door on things people situations that are not working for you and move forward so in that sense it's positive but it also does open the door for communications and creativity on a business level too okay and uh, so I hope that you do have a good week. The eclipse is at 11 degrees, um, so you want to check your uh, own chart to see what you've got around 11 degrees, see how that's going to affect you. And uh, so love, luck and blessings to you. I hope that something advantageous comes out of this week for you. All right, bye for now.